all practically. Hey guys, in today's video, I will show you guys how to make eggs and hell pasta. So, eggs and hell recipe itself does not come with pasta, and it's actually made with tomato sauce instead of a pasta sauce. Um, but I just didn't want to go through all the seasoning and adding those um, spices and I thought this will suit my taste better. When I first saw the eggs and hell recipe, I was like, oh my gosh, that's like perfect for some pasta. And um, But usually it's um, served with some bread, which I will also have too. And it's really, really simple, actually. <laughs> so it's, it might be a really, really quick video today. But before I start, I just want to uh, let you know why I have my headphones on right now. If you guys follow me on Twitter or, or yeah, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys know that a couple of days ago I asked how to fix my mumbling because um, one of the top comments that I see is that they can't understand me because I mumble a lot. And I know that even before I started YouTube, I thought um, monitoring myself, the way, um, listening to myself talk might help a little, so I'm just giving it a try. So let me know if it's fixed in any way. Let me know if um, you guys can understand me better or if I am mumbling less. So um, just bear with me with having my headphones on. So, um, so hopefully I can take it off soon. But yeah, anyways, let's start. Okay. So this is really simple. So I have some olive oil. I'm going to heat it up a little. So I'm going to add chopped onions and some brats. This is smoked brats. I really want to name this recipe, like eggs in hell, like what a name. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. And I'm going to add some, now I'm going to add the pasta sauce. I am using uh, Italian sausage and garlic flavor. recipe is I think more of a dip like for your bread or anything like that so I want to have a lot of um, sauce because um since I'm covering for spaghetti and bread Use the same skillet that I use for deep dish. Um, I think this is about 12 inches, I think. But um, I'm gonna I coated it with some olive oil and, and I'm going to add um not and I'm going to add some pre-boiled spaghetti. Oh, I think it's good. The reason I put um olive oil in here is because I'm going to toss it in the oven for a little bit so the um, the eggs I will add later will cook together and I didn't want the spaghetti to stick to the skillet okay. I'm going to add this up here I guess try to kind of spread it evenly
See, I think I'm kind of short. Okay, we'll, we'll see. So, I'm just going to add a little bit more. It's okay. okay. I mean, when I, when I put it in the oven, it's going to cook anyways, so I think it should be fine. Okay, so this is a key part of this recipe is to add raw eggs. I am going to add about, okay, I think, I should make like a little hole. Okay, so like in like a little hole right here. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to make another hole here. One more. Okay, let me make a bigger hole. Yum! See how, like, see how easy this recipe is? Okay, I'm gonna kind of submerge it a little so it looks yummy. Okay. Yum! Okay, it looks kind of weird to some. I know it might look really weird to some people, but um, I heard this looks really, really good. So it looks like that, and I am going to toss it in the oven just until the um, what is this called? Just until the eggs cook, and I'll be right back. All right. Oh my god, that took longer than I thought. But so I have some French bread here. I toasted a little and burnt a little. <laughs> Before it cools down, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. Okay. And then I'm going to add some parsley flakes. So let's try it with. So I'm going to raise my volume just a little bit for the ASM ASMR purpose, but I'm just going to do that for a couple bites. So good. Okay, so for today's drink, I have a uh, Calypso strawberry lemonade. I got this. I picked this up from a grocery store. I think it was around like a two dollar. My mouth is supposed to shake it. Mm, oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> Mm. 
I think I like it when the pasta is, the pasta sauce is a little bit on the sweeter side. Mmm. This is so good. Maybe because I haven't had spaghetti or like a legit pasta for a long time. bread is really good too. Mm. So if you the only reason why I use the oven instead of just using on the stove is because I don't want the pasta to burn, that's why I wanted to put it in the oven so I can only cook the top one bite, one bite. I wish there's an easier to easier way to eat this. I would love to use some chopsticks right now, but I know a lot of people are gonna hate so. Seriously, once you, you start using chopsticks, you'll know how more how much more convenient it, it is than use, um, using forks. Just you just have more control over it. Mm. I like the bread, but it's so hard to use. Like it's so hard to like. Mm. <clears throat> I like the pasta better though.
I wonder what my neighbor thinks of me when because I have a window right here and it's literally right in front of my neighbor's window and she and she's actually she's actually at home right now so I wonder what she thinks of me I know many people are not used to eating eggs that are not fully cooked but I don't know I think it's more common in like Asia like Japan and Korea because I guess in Korea right now or I've seen a lot of different shows that they and they introduce this um, raw meat kind of eating as like a sashimi and they usually add egg yolk, like a raw egg yolk, and they mix it in together and they just eat everything raw, basically. And, you know, I feel like in Korea, it, I know that it's not for everyone, but it's more like, common and it's more used than America. People prefer all the like, cooked all the way over that, over raw. Because I know that in Japan, they have this dish where they, they pull out of a hot pot. I said if you cook like a meat in a hot pot, and then before they eat, they dip it in the egg yolk and eat it. And the egg yolk is not, you know, cooked obviously. So in that sense, I think it's more of a cultural thing maybe.
<clears throat> and people have been asking me. I even asked on Twitter what you guys want me to talk about. And uh, many people actually want to know the difference between Korea and America. I'm like, you know, if I want to talk about that, like, I think it's literally like I can go on and on because you're asking me to talk about like the culture difference. And so I, but I still want to talk about it. So I was thinking, like, what can I talk about that is so different from Korea and America? And the first thing I thought of was partying. So I'm not talking about like a club party or going to like a lounge because I feel like that's really similar in every country. Like you go to a club, you everyone dance, and they dance at each other, you know, everyone dance slutty, you know, like that's really similar. Like no one's gonna go to a club and they act like they're like, you know, like, oh no, I don't want to dance. Like no one's really gonna do that because it's not part of a club. In the club, you kind of go crazy, right? So I was thinking about kind of drinking or partying at home. And I think I thought about it, and that's actually really different from Korea and America. And I'm strictly talking about drinking at home, not at, like, a club. Okay, so. So in America, we call that a house party. And I think in Korea, it's more of a get-together. I think that's kind of like a kind of like an idea of it. So in America, for like drink, you know, for drinking games, we play like flippy cup or like a um, or is it beer pong or I don't know. I can't. I don't know anymore. <laughs> but you know, you, you play a lot of drinking games games that consist of standing up, more active. Where in Korea, drinking games are more of everyone sit in a circle and let's play. So I'm talking about like high school to college or little after college. Like this is how people play, because that's where I am right now. This is how people like kind of um, drink. I feel like in house party in America, a lot of people it's more standing up, using like you know beer pong, using like red cups. You know like red cup. People know what red cup means. Like America, like it's really funny how red cup means party and it's for the drinking. It's for you know drinking games. Um, people will know that uh, automatically. But in Korea, it's different because people sit in a circle. They play more games that consist of talking and um, more than just kind of getting up and being active. But believe me, there are so many um, fun and really interesting drinking games in Korea, and I think that it's just really, really fun. And I actually like both. Um, and if you go to a American house party, you'll see a lot of like EDM, a lot of mu like loud music. You know, it's a house party. Everyone needs to hear from upstairs, downstairs, everywhere there to hear that. And even and and sometimes they even have like a dancing floor, <laughs> like you know, depending on where you want it to be. And but in Korea, it's just you you probably won't see any of that. At least for for as far as I know, I don't think you'll see anyone kind of like bumping up music in like their apartment. Uh, and I guess I'm gonna say I have a house, but um, yeah, people usually don't do that. It's more of, hey, let's just sit down, let's grill, let's get some drink on, and let's talk about our lives. I think it's more of like that. It's like smoking, drinking, and just kind of having a chill talk, and maybe you'll play a lot of fun games if there's a lot of girls and guys. So if people are kind of like me, familiar with both like Korean party style and American party style like let me know please leave in the comment below because I would love to read about it but not even just like Korea maybe you're from a different country and let me know if it's different from how people party in America Even like, like American grilling and Korean grilling is so different because when I think about American grilling, it's just like during the summer on a hot day, we're in the backyard and like your dad or your boyfriend or someone is grilling on like those high grills and you're standing up, people are standing up, talking to each other having a drink you know 
that's like the scene that I think of, but when I think of Korean grilling, it's more of everyone sitting down in a circle and have this like on like the little stove that I have. Everyone has that in front of the table and grilling and drinking. That's like the thing that I can think of when I... That's like the image that I think of when I think about Korean grilling. So I guess that's... Is that a culture difference? I don't know. Maybe... And I'm not saying that some people in America don't grill sitting down. And I'm not saying people in Korea doesn't stand up when they're grilling. I'm not saying that, but it's just like my the way I see it is like that. Oh, I think it's gonna be my last bite. Oh, so hungry. I mean, I'm so full. I'm really liking the brats in the sauce. It's really good. Like, I'm not gonna lie though. I used to love clubbing and going to house parties because, you know, I meet new guys there. I meet new people. And drunk people are not happy people, right? So, you really um, kind of get along with everyone. Because everyone's happy, everyone's strong, but you know, like, not always, but majority of the time that my experience was like that. And mainly I went there to find a new guy, I guess like to, I don't know, did I want like a hookup? I don't know, maybe I did. But I just wanted to go there to meet new guys. And now that like, like I'm dating, I don't know, like, I feel the only reason why I would go to a club is literally just to dance. Like, I would love the loud music. And, like, you know, when you, for me, when you're listening to loud music, like, you really don't think much. And all you think about is dancing. So, I think that's why I would go to a club now. But, like, house parties, if I go to house parties, like, yeah, I'll just go to the, literally just play games. And eat some food. But, I don't know, like... Because honestly, I used to be boy crazy, and I'm just going to be honest with you, I used, to be, I used to be so obsessed. I used to be so obsessed with attention that I got from boys. Like, especially during high school and maybe like freshman or sophomore year of college, but I don't know, over time I'm just like, oh, I don't care, like I have, I have, I have shit to do, like, like I don't really care. <laughs> And I think that's one thing, I feel like my stories always end up going towards like my relationship like problems or anything like that. Well, but the thing, but what I'm trying to say is that I wish that I wasn't so obsessed with relationships or I wasn't so obsessed with getting a guy's attention in college, especially, especially because of it. I thought, I think that if I, I definitely learned a lot. But I think if I didn't, I think I could have got more stuff done, like with my friendships or even just like my um, like how 
it looks, you know, maybe I could have got better grades and maybe I could have got more volunteers done and stuff like that. I think I was so always insecure that, you know, I wasn't having like a secure relationship with the guy. So if you're in college right now, like, don't worry about that. Like, he'll come to you. I were to go back to college again. I think having fun is definitely, definitely important because you want your college years to be memorable but at the same time your priority is school your priority is your future so I think that's something that I would tell myself like have fun, do other things but make sure you're getting good grades make sure you are getting your stuff done <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video Um, let me know how my talking went did I mumble a lot? So did I speak more clearly? So just let me know and if not, I think I'm just gonna keep this on for a little bit until it gets a little better. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so, so, so simple, right? Um, but uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will upload a couple of my this week. Um, sorry, but it's been like over five days from my last video, but I will try to upload more and more consistently. Mm, please let me know if there's anything you guys want me to talk about. You can leave it in the comment box down below, or you can tweet me, put it on Instagram, Snapchat, or whatever it works for you. I read all of them, I check all of them, so um, yeah, connect with me on there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe and if you will try it out. And let me know if you do try it out. And I'm glad to see it. So I will see you guys later. Bye!